I went to a school where there was a lot of issues and a lot of problems. And I didn't know how to go about them. But as soon as I started working with YMS, I started helping out more. You know, I started going to advisory board meetings. I advocated. I helped with rallies. I became a totally different person because YMS was all about advocating for education. And how can I advocate for education when I don't care about what's going on with the other students in my community and most of all, how I take advantage of my own education. For any program to be able to turn young people who are very smart and have the potential to be leaders in their schools into leaders in their community that are going to be a part of great change, you have to teach them that change is possible. We need to have parent advocacy, but what is even better is to have students become advocates for themselves in school. And that's a good way to take responsibility for your own education. If it wasn't for this program, I wouldn't be able to see difference, like how I see it now. I wouldn't be able to see how I live in poverty. I, w I wouldn't be able to see why is it so important for me to, to succeed in life and to go to college, to be able to come back and give back to my community. I wouldn't be able to see that. I would describe YMS as a program that can change your whole point of view. Since we live in like an urban area, it's just like we have this hood mentality. And when you go to YMS, you won't have to like change your mentality to be able to do what you have to do to change your schools. Now what they suggest is you pick a problem that's narrow. Like in this class, this is an issue, or in this school we have this problem. I learned in YMS that there's always a solution to every problem. And that even when you have a problem, no matter how small it is, it must be addressed. Now, sometimes you say, well, all right, I got an idea, and I'm going to have a demonstration. The idea moves to the demonstration, but does that mean you have an organization? No. No, why not? You got to set it up, and I put that over here on the organizer. We have to teach them to have a voice, but we also have to teach them that their voice is worth listening to, because a lot of young people just didn't think they mattered. <laughs> I didn't used to speak about my education, but because I thought our education was right, there was nothing wrong with it. But now that I joined YMS, I see there's something, there's something wrong with it, and it needs to be a change, and I'm not scared to speak up. I came to YMS to open my eyes to see that I'm not receiving the best education that I could be having. Well, I'm thinking that, oh, my school's the only one with these problems, but then I got together and I'm like, these people are facing the same problems that my school faces. The first step in turning young people into change agents is teaching them how effective people have been in shaping America. In the history of the United States, politicians or the government have never just decided we're going to fight for equality or we're going to make equality. People fought for that. People died for that. What, what she was saying is these characters that you guys are um, you know, watching, the Mammy, the Sambo, the Coon, these characters were, were created to help keep black people enslaved. So laundry list of problems that these students are going through. Lack of college readiness, um, lack of resources that's in their classes, um, budget cuts. And then look at what Barrington and like our schools in North have to offer because the stuff that they have in those schools, all our schools combined don't even equal up to the <laughs> right. stuff that they have. The media projects are so important because everything that we know about the world is based on the media. The media tells us who we are. The media tells us what's going on around us. A lot of times, pe things are allowed to exist because nobody ever shows them, nobody exposes them. My favorite thing about YMS is the media. There's a new equation for North Public Schools. Our schools, minus guidance counselors, minus literacy coaches, minus elementary school teachers, times more students divided by the smallest budget in X amount of years. You do the math. Well, there's two parts <laughs> to the media. One is understanding what the media is and what it does on a daily basis. 
The other is using the media to tell your story as opposed to somebody else's story. Uh, we have progressed to them understanding that they need to tell their story more often and in a form that people can consume to counterbalance the story that goes out every day from the uh, traditional media. I go to American University High, huh? he didn't ask me. He didn't ask me, and he definitely didn't ask the North community. So we need you, teachers, students, principals, to come out to advisory board meetings and community meetings to take a stand for our schools in North. community, we want better for our schools, we want our students to do more and go off to college, but at the same time, um, if the state doesn't give us the resources and the funding and, and backs us and actually believes in our students, then it's just going to continue to be in the situation we're in now. Well, I want them to see everything as a project. I want them to see every single thing that they encounter that isn't quite right as a subject for a movement. YMS right now is the only youth group in the city of Newark that's building advocates. I never imagined I would speak at City Hall or speak on panels and do different things like this. I mean, I'm involved into a person who I can just step out and speak to people. As a person, I've changed because I, di I, I think different. Getting into YMS really made me realize that I really want to help people out and I want to just Get, do more things for my community and help more students graduate college. I see YMS making a difference every every time they recruit new students, whether it's in the spring, in the summer, or winter. It helps you see the problems and go out and fight for it. I now see the problems in school and I'm determined to help out wherever I can. Before I was just like not doing nothing. I see the injustice in my school and it was just like whatever, I'm in an urban area so I just have to live with it. When I went to my MS, it was just like, he was telling me, you don't deserve this, you deserve that. And he was showing us so many things, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. We're working hard, and we're doing something that people don't normally do.